Roll call. John Basley, first ward. Bill Carlos, second ward. Joe Conti, third ward. Michael Safone, fourth ward. Ann Shershin, sixth ward. Todd Tancredi, supervisor. Felicia Salvatore, town clerk. Jim Nelson, attorney for the town. Okay, we've got a couple uh, public hearings on the agenda tonight, so I'd like to make a motion to open public hearing number one, amendment to count town code uh, noise, chapter 139. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Is there anyone here to speak to this public hearing? Doreen? Um, I would like clarification of something I brought up at the last uh, board meeting where this this was discussed. Um, it wasn't clear to me that the applicant would have to come before the town board or have an application. Um, so I'm not exactly sure um, what the process is, and this has not changed since um, since the last time. And I'm also concerned that... Uh, this could open up uh, issues in, you know, residential neighborhoods, and and I don't see how uh, waiving the noise ordinance would be protective of the general health, safety, and welfare of the citizen citizenry of the town of Poughkeepsie. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I'm I'm against this. Uh, exemption, but I would just like clarification if you could give it about yes. how the process will work. Yeah, I talked to Mr. Wilson after our last meeting and uh, to you know clarify uh, this in regard to your question. And um, the way it's going to work is the applicant, in this case it would be Marist College who's sought this, would have to come before the town board seeking a waiver and you know, state the reasons for the waiver, and the town board can deliberate and and discuss whether they think it's a good idea or not, and you, you know the implications. But each each time, you know that it's considered, the applicant has to come before the town board and ask the town board for the the waiver. All right. Well, thank you for the keep in mind. I'm sure you saw this, but this has been put into effect for one year. Right. So at one year, at the end of one year, this expires. I mean, we could continue it if it if it's if it is working well and there aren't issues. If it if there are issues, we could um, just let it expire and not continue it. Right. I, I do realize it's just for for one year, but um, you know, it's really hard to predict how far you know sound will travel, how it happens, and you know, like mm -hmm. I said, if you're in a residential neighborhood, I really wouldn't want to have to listen to uh, noise at at night and and on the weekends. So. Oh. Sorry, what All I right. could tell you is I, I when this come well when when we're open for it, I'll make an amendment if the board accepts it that if it becomes a problem for a neighborhood, we could rescind it and we'll see what the board wants to do with it or okay. modify it in some way, shape, or form to protect that. All right, thank mm. you. You're welcome. Anyone else? Yes. My name is Marcy Schwartz. Um, first of all, I want to reiterate what Doreen just said. Um, the noise ordinance is there to protect the health, safety, welfare of the public, and it's hard to understand how the basically a um, total right of the board to waive that uh, for any reason um, doesn't really seem to be in the interest of the um, of the citizenry, as although the language is in here. Um, second of all, the procedure that you stated should be in here. The language, my my general objection as a lawyer is the language is just is just much too broad. Um, you said, for example, that the entity seeking a waiver would have to come before the board, yeah. seek a waiver. There's nothing in here about that. It just says for good cause shown. So I think that this should be um, written more tightly. And it should give examples of what for good cause shown is. And I'm sorry, I did miss um, a meeting where I understand this was discussed in a little bit more detail. But having looked at the um, noise ordinance as it now exists, it says that there was no construction between, what was it, 8 p.m. and no, 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. So what is the problem with that? This specific request, yeah. uh, which we discussed a couple weeks ago, has, yeah. has come from Marist College um, and in relation to their new dorms. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's, we feel, I, th I think I can speak for the board, but I'll, I'll just speak for myself at, at this point. You, you know, it's a unique situation in that, to the, uh, you know, the area. The, to the west of Marist is the river. Mm -hmm. To yeah. the east of Marist is the Home Depot Plaza. The, you know, the Sykes Center property, the north of Marist is Marist property, and south of where they're going to be building the dorms is the Marist campus. So, you, you know, we think this is a, a unique situation where um, there aren't, residents in the vicinity that are going to be impacted by this by this noise so right. so you're, are you saying that basically it sounds i mean what i'm assuming is they want to work longer hours they want to work on, on weekends uh starting okay. at early you know earlier in the morning on weekends work on a sunday if they need because they have i think a tight uh time schedule and construction schedule to get these you know dorms completed so that's uh, what's been presented to us and that's why this is being considered Right, and it, um, yeah, the noise ordinance right now says that, um, where is it, yeah, when it comes to heavy equipment, that's mm -hmm. where it's more restrictive. Yes, yeah. and that's what they're looking to, um, you know, see if they can get a waiver for, for the construction of their dorm project. Okay, so it sounds like basically this, um, the proposed language is to set up a process whereby they can get a waiver mm -hmm. or someone else wanting to do some kind of construction or yeah. earth moving yeah i guess i guess the one thing okay so i'm almost finished the, no so problem. the first thing i would raise is that i would put it i i would include in here the language about that they should they would have to seek a waiver before the board for a good cause because it's not clear it, you know it doesn't say that right now okay um <clears throat> Oh, yeah, you say here, look, for good cause, has determined that such waiver would be protective of the general. So it does put it in here that they have to, um, how would they seek a waiver? Would they have to do it in writing? Would they just be able to show up? I mean, usually that kind of thing. Uh, my would, feeling is, yeah, yeah. they're going to have to put it in writing, um, get on a town board agenda, come before the town board, and, and seek the waiver. So maybe save upon written application or something. I'm saying, I'm just saying someone could, like, Go better. you know, draft it mm -hmm. a little tighter. Sure. Um, and, it, and it is important to me that this just goes to non-public works. It doesn't yes. go to some, anything else. Because, no, that's why we wrote it that way. Yeah, yes. because then you get into a situation which you can um, understand my objection just as a citizen. Yes. You don't want to have even, as, a, as board members, you don't want to have um, absolute authority to be able to waive any of the no noise ordinance because you, you just didn't, wouldn't even want that. Um, well, we tightened so, it up when yeah. we knew there were problems with a uh, development, you know, in the Spagil area, and, and that we put a heavier restriction on uh, weekend operations of heavy equipment. So, um, if we see there's a need, we've shown we'll act. In this case, we right, we wrote it specifically for this way to, you know, so it fits into the need that exists and the town board will have an opportunity tonight to consider that but i understand we do want to have a, a process in place i yeah. mean it can't be loopholes here i agree with you yeah. there um i just wanted their idea based on what uh, doreen said i don't know what the zoning is of maris college um but another idea if you wanted to tighten this up even more is to say that if someone seeks an exemption um they can seek an exemption within x whatever that zoning is because i'm sure it's not residential Right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Seeing no one, I make a motion to resume the rules. Second. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Being acted to the Town Board of Tampa Kipsu pursuant to a public hearing held on the first day of April 2015, 7 p.m. Town Hall, Tampa Poughkeepsie, 1 over Rocker Road, Poughkeepsie, New York, does hereby adopt an amendment to the Town Code, Chapter 139, entitled Noise. Being further enacted, this, the amendment is attached here to and incorporated herein. The town board does hereby waive or bay reading of said amendment. Does direct that said amendment be spread across the record as if it, in fact, had been read verbatim. Be enacted, the action to amend the noise law is a type 2 action requiring no secret review. Be it further enacted, the town clerk notify the clerks of the surrounding municipalities of the public hearing pursuant to GML 239 NN. Be it further enacted that the legal notice of public hearing was posted on March 20, 2015, and published in the Poughkeepsie Journal on March 23rd, 2015. Be it further enacted, said local law shall take effect immediately upon filing with the Secretary of State. So moved. Second. A motion and a second. Any discussion? I'd like to make a one amendment uh, after it says the welfare of the citizenry. I'd like to add, however, should noise become a problem, the town can reduce operation of heavy equipment hours and use of operation. I'll second that. 
Can you say that slowly, please? I would like to add at the end of the welfare of the citizenry, yep. uh, however, should noise become a problem, the town can reduce operation of heavy equipment hours of use and operation. So it's at our discretion if there is a problem. Okay. Well, why don't we say? Why don't we say the town can revoke the waiver? Rescind isn't that what you? Isn't that what oh, you mean? You can say rescind can or say, modify the waiver. Or modify or rescind the waiver. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. That. <clears throat> and that would be the town board, right? Yes. Correct. Yes. Yeah, all right. Sure. And who seconded that? Was it? I did. Mr. Conti. All right. So we have to vote on that first. So we have a motion. Uh, we have an amendment to the motion. Uh, any more discussion? All those in favor of Mike's amendment? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It passes 6-0. And any more discussion on the resolution? All those in favor of the resolution as amended? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 6-0. And I, I make a motion to close public hearing number one. I think I neglected to say Second. that. Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right, I make a motion to open public hearing number two, amendment to town code chapter 210 zoning section 210-67.1 energy facilities. Second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Is there anyone here to speak to this public hearing? Seeing no one, I make a motion to close public hearing number two. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, be, Bill, before you read this, uh, the planning board uh, met on this, um, and, and they've what they've decided is they they need more time to uh, research and um, investigate the wind energy component of this. Huh. Um, so, before you read it, what I'd like to ask the town board to consider uh, is. This is this is broken up into two segments. The first part has to do primarily with solar, and then the the second part, starting at F, has to do with um, wind energy systems. I'd like to uh, have us consider approving the the first part portion of this, which we really need, re relating to solar, mm -hmm. and um, uh, what are we looking into, Todd? Because this is rather straightforward and one of the main reasons we're doing this was for the wind energy part you know. I think there's some concern about the noise these thing these systems generate I think there's concern about if they're not properly maintained and it isn't just the noise of, of the wind blowing through them if they're not maintained and, and the squeak and then, and then I think additionally um, if they're not of the right height whether they can pick up enough wind to actually make a difference and I think we've limited the height on these so I, I think there's you know a, a, a lot of uneasiness among mm -hmm. planning staff and then it was reflected in the planning board decision and you know after talking to uh, Mr. Wilson uh, you know I understand the concern so what they'd like to do and you know actually I've had a number of residents speak to me ab about this proposal and they're also concerned about the noise these might make in a yard next to them. Well, what I've seen has zero noise, and the gentleman that is in reference to this has researched this to no end, uh -huh. and there really is no issue, so I'm actually against putting off any longer. He's purchased this and solar panels. He's been six months in the waiting to have all this stuff Well, the done. solar panels he's fine with, because we still, have a... The wind thing, they won't let him touch it until he does the solar, but that's the way they're going to, you know, do it. I'll just okay. vote against it, because this has been, okay. you know, since October when he bought this, but it shouldn't yeah. take six months to look into it. Well, right now, though, and the reason we can do it that way is because right now there's a restriction on wind energy, yeah. you know, wind, these systems yeah. in the town. So if you bought in October, I understand that, but... No, we bought all the solar panels, it. and they're holding that up because... Uh, of solar's allowed with, you know, under certain conditions, the rooftop and... Yeah, and the wind was um, not allowed because it was those big wind, wind turbines, which now they're actually small wind turbines. They're no bigger than four foot around. So, okay. Does the planning board have the length of time they think they'll need to do the investigation? I don't know. I, I don't know that. Would, it, would you feel better if we put something in place where if we give them a month to come give to? Give something. This poor guy's waiting you know, all winter. We I understand you know, your feeling. This feel has been going you? on since October. You know, I, you this know, is I, months to do a... Small yeah, I, I'm not sure I'm going to vote in favor of it. Anyway, um, the wind, it, depending on 
you know, once we do more research and mm-hmm. and understand the impact of these to the, the people in the immediate area. So, um, yeah, because we may actually, I mean, if he has one that is noiseless, maybe we can make it specifically that that type is a lot. I just don't know enough about him. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I understand. Yeah, know that. Yeah, we, just, yeah, my, well, my other need, feeling was... Well, but the the first part of this having to do with solar, we really need. There, there's issues, and and that if you've read this, it primarily deals with setbacks, and and there's been yeah. some issues that uh, planning would really like to have the solar piece of it approved and cleaned up. And like I said, the reason they feel we, you know, Mr. Wilson and and, um, and Jim Nelson feel we can do the first part of this because the second part expands our wind isn't allowed at all, so we can do part A. Relating to solar, if everyone agrees, and hold off on the wind. Well, I agree. That was the recommendation. I, I agree with Jay, though. We've been making this poor guy wait for a while. We should be an in frame. If we don't well, do something, we should move forward. Let me make sure you understand. Yeah. No, I do. Wind is not allowed in the town at all right now, so it's not he, He's. But it's trying. not like he's waiting. He bought it. He, well, it's not allowed. So he's waiting to see if we'll change our law. Right, he's seeing what we're doing. Just that it's been you know, almost six months in the waiting. This has been passed around us. Well over a month ago, and I passed around downstairs. Yeah, I read it, and I'm up at the last minute. It's a super you know, absurd if you ask me. You know, it should have been addressed long before this, and we should have been notified oh, long okay. before it even so, came to a public hearing to change the date. That's uh, you know, age old story. It's, yeah, just called government, you know, inefficiencies. Uh, you know, I, I you know I wouldn't call it government inefficiencies. I, I call it you know I, you you have. Serious problems in New Hamburg with some noise, and I know there's some residents here tonight. I think noise is a serious issue and can be a serious issue for oh, residents. Yes. So I think it's something we have to consider carefully, look at carefully, because you know once we open the floodgates, no, that's not the issue. You know what the, the issue is. Are. It should never come in front of us if it wasn't ready. It's been passed around that long. We shouldn't have found out tonight that now there's an issue with. Well, that's, the that's first half, issue. the first half of it is, is is ready to roll, is important, and, and you know. We can move on. So let's let Bill read the resolution. Then if we want to talk about it some more, we can. Do I have to modify the resolution to only cover the first section? Or just read the resolution? I would just just read it. Hmm. All right. Be it enacted that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie, pursuant to a public hearing, hearing held on the first day of April 2015 at 7 p.m. at the town hall of Poughkeepsie, Town of Poughkeepsie, 1 over Rock Road, Poughkeepsie, New York, does hereby amend Chapter 210, specifically Section 210-67.1, entitled Energy Facilities, and be it further enacted that the amendments are attached hereto and incorporated herein, and that the Town Board does hereby waive a verbatim reading of said amendments, and does direct that the said amendments be spread across the record as if they've in fact been read verbatim, and be it further enacted that the town board has previously declared its intent to act as lead agency under the New York State Environmental Quality Review Act and does declare that said action to be a type 1 action under the New York State Environmental Quality Review Act, SICA, and be it further enacted that the town board has reviewed the long-form environmental assessment form, EAF, prepared by the Director of Municipal Development and hereby determines that, one, the adoption of herein zoning amendment would not have a significant adverse effect on the environment, and two, a draft environmental impact statement will not be required for the reasons set forth in the attached determination of no significance, and three, a negative declaration is hereby issued, and be it further enacted that a written recommendation received from the Dutchess County Department of Planning and Economic Development dated March 10, 2015, stating the proposed amendment was a matter of local concern And be it further enacted that a written recommendation dated March 23, 2015 was received from the Town of Poughkeepsie Planning Board in which said board recommended adoption of the hearing amendments and be it further enacted that the town clerk notify the clerks of the surrounding municipalities of the the public hearing pursuant to General Municipal Law 239-NN and be it further enacted that the legal notice of public hearing was posted on March 13, 2015 and published in the Poughkeepsie Journal on March 16, 2015 and be it further enacted that the local sh- law shall take effect immediately with filing with the Secretary of State. So moved. Second. Do we have a motion and a second. Jim? Yep. Uh, before you do that, do you want to do um, um, uh, an amendment resolution? 
that might say something like, I move to delete the references to WES um, on page one, uh, of, of which there are 11. Uh, all of the references on page four mm -hmm. and page five mm -hmm. to WES, mm -hmm. which go through the end of subparagraph six. Mm -hmm. And in addition, the reference to WES in subparagraph G. I make, I make that motion. Is there a second? Second. Uh, all right, we have a motion and a second. Any more dis discussion? So what we'd be looking at is proving this as it relates to solar and deleting the references to wind energy at this time to, to a later date. Do we want to set a deadline when the planning board has to get back to us by this? It's up to the town board. I'd be happy they so meet be, you know, once a month. There seems to be some imperative here to get this. Well, let them take their time now. If it's off, it's off. I mean, okay. You know, do you want to leave it out or do you want to try and... No, leave it out. I'll call you Neil in the morning. I'll address with Neil in the morning. You know, because he's obviously the one that you know, decided to pull us out at the last minute. Okay. okay. All right. Yep. So we have a, an amendment. Uh, let's first see if everyone agrees with the amendment. Uh, a motion has been made and seconded on the amendment. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Nay. Amended. Uh, the amendment passes five to one. Um, and then on the amended resolution, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Well, opposed? Nay. Okay, and the amended resolution passes five to one as well. Can you tell me who moved and seconded that? I moved, I moved the, the amendment or the... No, the motion in chief. The original motion, I moved it. it. Go second. Thank you, sorry. All right, and that brings us to the end of our public hearings for the night. Uh, what I'm going to do is go through the agenda items, and then we'll take questions on agenda items uh, from anyone in the audience. Item number three is a resolution designating May as Mental Health Awareness Month. Four is to set the public hearing date for a zoning designation uh, known as the Dahlia Site Plan, Sophia's Way, Vaud Avenue Lots, and 35 Vaud Avenue. Five is to approve Babe Ruth uh, Opening Day Parade. Six to approve uh, fireworks for Vassar College Reunion. Seven is to approve Marist College Riverfest fireworks. Eight is to authorize Kimberly Russell to work additional hours in the clerk's office. Uh, nine is notification of some uh, legal claims. Ten is to appoint uh, a replacement for Justice Paul Banner, who retired, who's retired as of yesterday. And then we have a few special consents. Special consent number one is to authorize uh, the calling of a special town board, board meeting um, next uh, week, uh, in addition to our committee of the whole meeting. Two is to authorize, um, the, at this point, the annual uh, Rinaldi flea markets. Uh, SC3 is to authorize the supervisor to sign a contract with Atlas for police copier maintenance. SC4 is to authorize supervisor to sign a lease agreement extension with NICOMCO, again affiliated with the police department. Five is to authorize um, uh, appraisal services for some small easements that are needed in relation to uh, the country club project. And then six is notifications uh, of a claim to legal. So I'd like to make a motion to spend the rules for public comment on agenda items. Second. In favor? Aye. Aye. Does anyone would like to ask a question? Doreen. Question about agenda item four, uh, setting the date for the public hearing for the zoning des designation for the Dahlia site plan. So is there going to be a presentation given on this, or are you guys just voting on the public hearing? Well, we can have one uh, if people want to see one. Um, we're, I'm having another meeting with uh, the developer uh, here at Town Hall. I haven't set the date yet, but this is going to be the same presentation the planning board saw last week. Okay. Um, okay, I guess I just wasn't sure if somebody was going to be giving a presentation as part of this tonight. I wondered if we would have a chance to ask a question. Not that I necessarily want a presentation, just if there is one, will we have the opportunity to ask a question? Uh, I, I, Kelly, um, you know, usually something like that we, we do at the uh, Committee of the Holes okay. meetings, um, you, you know, you know, I don't know what the parents of the board is. Are you prepared to? I mean, I don't well, think. I'm, I'm not. Let me do. 
I'm not asking for a presentation. I just happened to see that the I don't think we were here. expecting necessarily a, a, a presentation because I don't think the project is significantly changed from you know, the last time we saw or the presentation that was made before the planning board. So, you know, what I was thinking is if, if it's... Now, if you want to... I mean, the planning board yeah. is on YouTube. If you want to watch right. that... No, and, I mean, right. Okay, I guess so maybe I don't think we were clear. Prepared. We weren't prepared to necessarily okay. have a presentation tonight right. in All addition to what we've seen. All I wanted to say was that... I thought you were just setting the day of the public That's hearing, it, that is. but when so, I saw the consultant arrive with what looked like some sort of presentation materials, I just I just wondered <laughs> yeah, if, if you we were going to. I think she had that in case someone had a question, one of the board members prior to the, the okay. setting of the public hearing. Okay. Thanks, Doreen. Thank <laughs> Anybody else? All right, so you know, and I make a motion to resume the rules. Second. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay. Whereas mental health is essential to the well-being and the vitality of our family, businesses, and communities, and whereas mental health conditions are real and prevalent in our nation, with one out of four Americans and one out of five children affected by mental illness, and whereas more people die from suicide in the United States than from traffic accidents, and an estimated 22 veterans die from suicide each day, and whereas stigma and fear of discrimination keep many who would benefit from mental health services from seeking help, and whereas education, compassion, and awareness about mental illness, illness can change negative attitudes and behaviors, behaviors towards people with mental illnesses, and whereas each business, school, government agency, law enforcement agency, health care provider, organization, and citizen shares the responsibility to promote mental wellness and support prevention efforts, now therefore be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie, on behalf of the Town of Poughkeepsie, does hereby proclaim the month of May 2015 as Mental Health Awareness Month, and be it further resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie also calls upon the Town of Poughkeepsie residents government agencies, public and private institutions, businesses and schools to recommit our community to increasing awareness and understanding of mental illness, reducing stigma and discrimination, and promoting appropriate and accessible services for all individuals. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 6-0. Be resolved, the Town Board, Town of Poughkeepsie, is hereby set the 6th day of May 2015 at 7 p.m. Town Hall, Town of Poughkeepsie, 1 over Arca Road, Poughkeepsie, New York, as in four, thereafter, as the matter may be heard, and as for the time, date, and place of a public hearing to consider an amendment to Town Code Chapter 210 entitled Zoning, which amendment will be as follows. An application pursuant to Section 210-11 of the Town Code for a change of zone involving tax parcel number 61621044864750616 Four three six six one five four two nine six four zero and four zero seven six six two from resident single family twenty thousand R twenty district to resident multifamily district. An application pursuant to section two ten twenty of the town code for designation of tax parcel number six one six two one zero four four eight six four seven four five zero six one four and four three six six one five four two nine six four zero and 407662 as a senior housing overlay district for a project known as the Dahlia Site Plan Senior Housing, located at Sophia's Way in Violet Avenue Lots and 35 Violet Avenue, Poughkeepsie, New York. Said application being contingent on the zoning of the aforesaid tax parcels being changed from R20 district to RM district as a condition precedent. And it be a further resolved that the Planning Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie has heretofore been designated as lead agency, issued a secret negative declaration for the project, and submitted a positive recommendation with suggested conditions dated March 19, 2015. And the proposed action is an unlisted action. And be a further resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize and direct the town clerk to send a copy of the proposed local law to Dutch County Planning for a recommendation as required by General Municipal Law 239M. And be it further resolved that the town board directs the town clerk to notify the town clerks of each of the surrounding municipalities of the public hearing pursuant to GML 239NN. Be it further resolved that if adopted, the local law should take effect immediately upon filing the Secretary of State. So moved. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? The, uh, this is to set the public hearing at right. which we would encourage people to mm -hmm. come forward and make comments about this. Sure. Understood. Okay. And concerns from us. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I think yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Obviously, concerns from the the residents and also us. But I think if the board has questions or concerns, and you know, you certainly have access to the. the, the we've seen the plans. You know, we've have access to the uh, consultant. So I, you know, don't be afraid to okay 
before we end, Bill. Anything else? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Pass the 6 0. Whereas the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie has heretofore received an application from Joan Eideldorf on behalf of the Poughkeepsie Babe Ruth Baseball to hold its opening day parade on April 18th, 2014, 2015 at 11 a.m., which parade route is outlined on the attached documentation and whereas a certificate of liability insurance has been filed with the town clerk naming the town of Poughkeepsie as an additional insured. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby approve the application for said opening day parade as submitted. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 6-0. Number six, whereas the town board of town Poughkeepsie has heretofore received an application from Vassar College to include a fireworks display at its Vassar College reunion weekend event to be held on February, June 12, 2015, with the rain date of Saturday, June 13, 2015, whereas the applicant has notified the Arlington Fire Department and whereas a certificate of liability insurance has been filed with the town clerk naming the town of Poughkeepsie as an additional insurer, now therefore be resolved that the Town Board of Town Poughkeepsie has hereby approved the application as submitted for a fireworks display to be held on Friday, June 12, 2015, with a rain date of Saturday, June 13, 2015, at 9 p.m. on Vassar College property, Raymond Avenue, Poughkeepsie, New York. So moved. Thank you. <clears throat> Motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 6 0. Whereas the Town Board of Town Poughkeepsie has heretofore received an application from Marist College to include a fireworks display at its Riverfest event to be held on Friday, April 24, 2015, with a rain date to be determined, and whereas the applicant has notified the Fairview Fire District, and whereas the Certificate of Liability Insurance has been filed with the Town Clerk named the Town Poughkeepsie as an additional insured, now therefore be it resolved the Town Board of Town Poughkeepsie has hereby approved the application as submitted for fireworks display to be held on Friday, April 24th. 2015 and 9 p.m. at Marist College's Riverfront Property, North Road, Poughkeepsie, New York. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 6-0. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize Kimberly Russell to temporarily work additional hours per week in the Town Clerk's Office for 90 days starting immediately at her current rate of pay. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 6-0. 9 is a notice of claim. 10 is a resolution pending. And 11 is be it resolved that this the town... should be a resolution for number Oh, no. Uh, sorry, 10. We, we, we don't have one. We it was right on top of your SCs. Maybe I take uh, it by mistake. Whereas the town, Justice Paul L. Banner retired March 31st, 2015. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie hereby appoints Stephen Krakauer as town justice to fill the unexpired term of Justice Banner through December 31st, 2015. So moved. Second. We're motion and a second. Any discussion? Yeah, as a point of order, don't we have to accept his resignation from the town board first before we appoint him to become a judge? I received a resignation today. I don't think we have to appoint. Uh, I don't he, believe we He has to have vacated any other elected office before this motion, but the town board doesn't have to accept a resignation. So we don't have to actually have a resolution stating that he has we resigned. We usually do that just to yeah. thank the people. Yeah, I mean, the clerk received one today um, from Councilman Krakauer, who uh, resigned his position as, as councilman. So. Anything else? Well, he'll be missed here. So, yes, uh, I worked with Stefan on uh, several big items over this last year, my freshman year, I guess. Um, one of which included the work at the town justice court. And he sat next to me during hours of that. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I think he has more than enough of the knowledge and interest in the court to be an excellent justice. And I would recommend that. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to agree. I want to thank Stavon for his years on the town board. He, uh, we're going to miss him, and uh, he certainly has done a good job representing the Fifth Ward uh, residents, and um, I'm sure he'll do a good job in, in Justice Court. 
Just, uh, I just like to say, Stefan and I have not always agreed on everything, but he's added a lot to a lot of projects in the town that added a lot to the uh, tax base in Spack and Kill, and he really cares for the residents up there and, and in town in general. And uh, he's been helpful to me in a lot of areas. And uh, you are going to be missed, Stefan. But I know you'll do a good job as a judge. I've been telling you that for years. Just keep in touch, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Nay. Motion passes 5 1. Congratulations, Stefan. Be resolved, Town Board, Town of Poughkeepsie, issued by grant special consent to the following items to quit. Authorize calling of a special Town Board meeting. Uh, two, Rinaldi Flea Market. Three, contract with Atlas for police copier maintenance. Uh, four, lease agreement extension with ICOMCO. Uh, five is appraisal services for a country club sewer. And six is the following, following claim has been referred to legal, McCready versus town. And be it further resolved that upon the objection of any member of the town board, an item may be removed from the list and voted on separately. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 6-0. Be resolved, the Town Board of Town Poughkeepsie does hereby call a special Town Board meeting on Wednesday, April 8th, 2015 at 7 p.m. before the Committee of the Whole meeting at Town Hall, Town of Poughkeepsie, 1 over Rock Road, Poughkeepsie, New York, for the following. 1. Authorized supervisor to sign Fair Commons documents. 2. Any other materials that may legally come before the Board, so moved. Second. second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 6 0. SC2. Whereas the Town Board of Town Kips has heretofore received an application from R Rinaldi Flea Market, told the flea market from April 2015 through October 2015 to be held at 900 Dutchess Turnpike, Kips, New York, owned by Quadral Realty Services and be resolved that the Town Board Tom Kipsey does hereby approve the application as submitted, contingent upon the town first receiving the applicable fees and a certificate of insur liability insurance naming the town of Poughkeepsie as an additional insured. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? They've always been good neighbors to the third ward, and I think, I think unfortunately, Bill is gone. I think it's his son that's keeping it going. So I don't know if you guys knew about that, but Bill's a great guy. No, I didn't. Josh, his name is. The son, is that his son's name? I don't know if that's his son, but it's a Josh Rinaldi and Eric yeah, yeah. that I deal with. Unfortunately, Bill passed. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 6 0. Be resolved, the Town Board of Tampa Kips is hereby authorized the supervisor to sign a maintenance agreement. With Atlas Star Digital Document Specialist for Copier Maintenance at Town of Poughkeepsie Police Department for the agreement period from May 15, 2015 to May 14, 2016, at the annual cost of $2,200, which is no increase from last year, be it further resolved, and the Town Board further finds that it would be not be in the best interest of the Town to solicit alternative proposals for quotations for such service, and be it further resolved, the Town Board finds this to be a Type 2 action requiring no environmental review, so moved. Second. We're motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 6 0. Be resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize the supervisor to sign a lease agreement which extends its current lease with New York Communications Company, Inc. for the Police Department's radio equipment lease and maintenance, which agreement will be for five years, commencing upon completion of the installation of new equipment through 2020 at a cost of $443 per month, which reflects no incre increase pursuant to the recommendations of the Chief of Police, a copy of which is hereby attached. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? This, uh, you know, Chief wants to point out that this current monthly lease uh, fixes the, the lease price um, through 2020, so I think that's a... a, a you know, good deal and gives us some no assurance going forward. Yeah. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mm -hmm. Motion passes 6 0. <coughs> Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie is hereby authorized the supervisor to contract and pay for appraisal services from McGrath and Company for five additional temporary and permanent easements described on the annexed draft plats prepared by the town engineer at a total cost not to exceed 
$4,200.00, which easements are required for the Country Club Sewer District improvements, and the supervisor and his designees are further authorized to proceed with negotiations to acquire those easements at prices not to exceed the appraised values, subject to the town board approval of the negotiated prices and transfer of the easement interests to the town. So moved. Second. A motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 6-0. SC6 is a notification legal claim for a lawsuit in McCready versus the town. Refer that to legal. And that brings us to the end of our agenda. I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules for <coughs> comments uh, on town issues. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Is there anyone would like to address the board? Doreen? For SC1, Todd, I'm sorry, I missed mm. the calling of the special town board meeting. What documents um, are uh, you to sign? Fairview Commons um, agreements. Fairview, let me just look here, see what the exact word. Fairview Common documents. Does that have anything to do with tree cutting on the site, does no, it? No, no, no tree cutting, no. No trees. No trees will be cut. Okay, thank you. Yes. I'm Susan Barbarisi, and I uh, just wanted to uh, say three things about the continuing issues uh, with the but uh, Botini fuel uh, terminal in New Hamburg. The first is I'd like to go on record to say thank you to the town police who have been very courteous and responsive. Secondly, um, in spite of whatever acts the town is taking, negotiations, and so on, uh, we have not, as residents, noticed any change at all in the, um, in the flow of traffic and all the other issues uh, that uh, are associated with the, the fuel terminal. And for instance, on Monday evening, this past Monday evening, uh, the noise from the offloading uh, of a barge into the tanks was louder than anyone could recall. All um, you know, we've all checked in with each other, and it was phenomenally loud. I don't know if there was a problem with equipment. The uh, the police did come down and issue two tickets. However, uh, the the offloading continued with this really loud noise until after two thirty uh, in the morning. So. That brings me to the third point, which is a question of when whichever entity is actually receiving these tickets, what happens? What is the cumulative effect? You know, at what point, for instance, might a permit be revoked or what happens? You get three DUIs, your license is revoked. So um, what, what can we expect with the town police, as I say, having been very responsive to I, us? I, I, what happens is that an individual gets a, at a noise ordinance ticket and they get an appearance date to appear in court uh -huh. and there's typically a fine uh, associated with that ticket so when they go to court they'll a, a fine will be levied to, uh -huh. to whatever individual the ticket's written to i see i know in a couple of cases i think it's been a the operator of one of the trucks um typically you know one of the employees is getting a ticket mm -hmm. and Go ahead. Sorry. So, so I guess you know. In this instance, if uh, the barge, the people who are offloading the barge, are the ones who are in violation, I mean, that's what we're trying to understand what the process is. Um, and, um, you know, go ahead. Uh, uh, Chief, and I don't know if you, if you didn't know the answer to this. I mean, when those barges are unloaded, I know there's been a couple of times we've ticketed. I think that the barge and, and that process, and then a couple of times it's been a truck operator. Do you have know who who's actually receiving the, you guys did the ticket did. from the barge you guys always did want a boat though right i'm sorry you always did want a boat didn't you we, we um we look for our management or, or uh, someone in charge okay. and uh we we had some difficulty in actually accessing the equipment offshore the barge itself there was some safety issues i'm concerned about my officers not being familiar on 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 how that some of that equipment uh, uh, is used, but we have cited um, uh, employees of the barge company and employees of Botini. Um, they are uh, documenting, as well as uh, um, the the employers, the who who is in charge, who, any other employees that may have been on site. 
the vehicles that were on site, and we've <coughs> been attempting to make video and audio uh, records of the encounters as well. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Yes. Um, hi, my name is hi. Stacey Messler, and I'm here on behalf of the New Hamburg Neighborhood Association, mm -hmm. um, in part to talk about what Susan talked about, but then also to discuss the letter that was sent from the town to the Botini Company's attorneys. We yeah. submitted a FOIL request yeah. and received a copy of the letter, so um, we want to clarify one point on the letter, which was the 18-wheeler point. We think that that needs to be refined, okay. um, because... There's a concern that some of the trucks actually have 14 as opposed to 18 wheels, okay. and that's because the tractor, the tractor in that case only has one rear axle mm -hmm. um, with four tires as opposed to two axles with eight tires. Okay. Um, so the, the restriction should actually be any configuration of a tractor-trailer truck because you don't actually lose the size of the truck just because there's the 14 rather than the 18 wheels. Okay. Um, the second is we wanted, we're wondering if there has been any response to the letter from Botini. Not and the at this third, point. Not at this point. And the no. third is what is the timing for the company to respond um, and execute the changes to the site plan? And how long do we wait? Well, I think at this point it's open-ended. We're hoping the company's responsive. And if we don't hear something back in, you know, a reasonable amount of time, we'll contact them. But, you know, without getting into our strategy and, and kind sure. of negotiating this publicly so that of course you certain people here you, you know the town as i'm sure you know and i'm sure the botinis as businessmen realize the town has quite a bit of leverage in terms of of what it can do in in new hamburg and mm -hmm. um you know we'd rather not see a prolonged legal battle there so we're hoping we can come and i think it, it, you know when we met uh when sure. some of you came up and we met, you know, our hope is that Botini's being long time um, town, you know, businessmen will understand the, the concerns of the neighbors and, you know, uh, understand how they've changed their business over the last year or so. And, and, and it's kind of been the breaking point. So we're hoping that we'll come to a, a resolution and, and um, some type of agreement without you know, a of long, course, no, we understand. Uh, we understand. So that's kind of the the plan. Um, and they are working on. It. We got an acknowledgement no, that, no. That, that their attorney received a letter and yes. he has contacted his client on the letter already. I we, understand. We've gotten that far with it. We're just I, the the neighborhood association is concerned because the summer is coming and we're mm -hmm. anticipating some kind of a slowdown. Mm -hmm. But then the summer will be over, yeah. and the fall um, will arrive in less than six months, and then the danger issues to the residents of New Hamburg that will obviously decrease with the decrease in traffic over the yeah. summer will then immediately increase again. Um, so that's that point. And then I want to just kind of go back a little bit to what Susan was talking about with the noise of the barge. So the, the barge arrived, um, they were setting up at about 7 p.m. on Monday. Okay. And at about 8.15, there were two incredibly loud um, buzz type, there was a buzz saw type noise that blared, and then the loudest filling to date commenced mm -hmm. until past 2 a.m. So the town police were called and they did respond. Um, thank you very much. Um, but we called again at 1 a.m. because it had not stopped, the noise had not stopped, and the lieutenant who arrived, and I, I can't remember his name, said that he could ask them to shut down the bar. He could make that request of them, but he won't until he gets a directive from the town board to ask them to shut down. Um, so he suggested to us that they were specifically told not to shut them down. Um, and we know that we've seen the barge arrive in the evening and then wait until the morning to begin filling. So mm -hmm. there is some kind of control. Uh, you know, it, it's been um, suggested that there's ice on the river and they can't control when they arrive or what they do. But I think that there actually is control um, a little bit because it's a business and they have to operate under some kind of, you know, mm -hmm. time and, and requirement and they have to report to their job. And, and we've seen them wait till the morning. Mm -hmm. So we are wondering um, how we can go about asking them to please shut down or to just not fill during the evening. We understand that they need to fill, yeah. but we think that they should fill during the day. And we um, 
we wonder what would happen if there was another violator of noise. You know, if White's Marina suddenly started operating a 24-hour shipping yard, would we say, would, you know, would they be told, hey, you actually can't do this? So we're just questioning the timing in in the noise of the barge. It's, it, it is something we think that it's different, I think, than the trucks, which is, I can understand is going to be a much longer process, but they are in violation. And the violation that the barge is making is not connected to the pre-existing, you know, use permit that Botini has. The barge company is separate. They are their own business, and they are in violation of the town's noise ordinance on their own. So that's kind of where we're at. We're wondering how we can go after the barge and ask them to not operate in the evening, you know, as a separate issue from the trucks um, and in New Hamburg. Yeah, I understand what you're asking. I don't have an answer for that. Uh, it's something we'll certainly, you know, we would like to certainly um, make sure it doesn't happen. I don't know if in the past, I know when we've talked about ours or operation, you know, it's been in relation to delis, convenience stores. We've typically been told that we can't regulate the hours of operation or restrict, you know, the hours uh, for business. But, you know, I understand the concern. We understand the disruption in, you know, your your lives and your sleeping patterns, uh, definitely. So we're going to do everything we can to try to, you know, make sure this gets fixed, this problem. Okay, thank and, you. Thank you. And, Ty, they are looking into the, the marine issue there to see if there is a way to, you know, regulate them from the water. You know, right. Different issue. I've contacted the sheriff's department also asked them, being that they do all the water issues in the summertime, that they may have a better answer to what we can do on the water. Okay. And no, with last, uh, oh, I guess you, never mind. What, what I was going to tell you, we discussed in the meeting, so you're aware of. <laughs> thank you. But, thank you. Sorry. Anybody else? Yes. <clears throat> This is just a note in regard to uh, <clears throat> the board's designation of May as Mental Health Awareness Month. Yes. Uh, the Poughkeepsie Journal of, um, about a year ago did a an expose on the severe lack of psychiatric hospital beds um, mm -hmm. in our area. And I, I just raise it here because um, I believe St. Francis Hospital, or whatever it's called today, mm -hmm. is in the town of Poughkeepsie. Yes. And um, I know it. It's not, this is not something in the town's hands, but should the town ever be able to have input or any kind of um, comment on, um, on that issue, um, I would uh, recommend that that, that that input be given, that the number of beds be increased. And one of the reasons um, that I know about this actually has to do with the new town justice, which is that his uncle... Um, is a psychiatrist, and he told me of a case just before that article had appeared where he had a, a patient who was suicidal, and because there's only something like 10 beds now mm -hmm. um, in our entire area mm -hmm. for psychiatric patients, he could not get the guy admitted. Mm -hmm. So it is a life and death issue. Good. Thank you. Anybody else? Mark. Yes. You just have to turn it on. Take it on. Why you do that? Yes. Uh, it's not, not really a town board issue. I, I just wanted to say thank you to Stefan. Um, you've been a major part of this board. You've been on the board ever since I've been highway superintendent. Um, and it's always been a pleasure to work with you. So the, we have a great town board to work with, and you were a big part of it. So um, you're going to be missed, and thank you for all your years of service. Thanks, Mark. Anybody else? Yes. But at the same note, I guess I don't have to be saying, okay, Commissioner, come on up. I don't maybe uh, hear that anymore. I don't want, he's asked me to take over that job. But. Oh, yeah. Uh, just a clarification on the country club. Is yeah. this additional appraisal uh, involvement, or is it yes. still part of the original appraisal? No, appraisal it's a few more study. easements, small easements that we meet, need. So... What we want to do is when we uh, seek an easement and if we have to, you know, pay for that easement, we want to have a, an idea of what the, the value is. So we're having a, a, the appraisals done. It's additional 
uh, to the ones we had previously. And and you don't know if this is going to affect the the total amount when we're finally done, or it, it's no, kind it's, of considered being part yeah, of the, it's all con the yes. financial cost. Yes, and this most of this appraisal now is on the outside of the country club estate property, going down. Yeah, it's new, down around where the new pump station is going to be. There and down in those other yes. sections. Yes. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? All right, Mike. Hey, uh, before we close, I'd just like to uh, congratulate a uh, gentleman in the back of the room, uh, Patrick Reed, uh, for going to Boston College. He's a back and kill graduate, and he's going to be heading off to college in Boston. And uh, Michael Dwyer, uh, appreciate you coming with him, and I uh, wish you both success in college. And thanks for coming to tonight's meeting. I understand you're both very interested in government, so keep up the good work. Let's don't be a Boston fan. Let's if he has the opportunity, if you'd like to. <laughs> Kind of different on that side, huh? <laughs> well, I'll try not to cross-examine you too much. <laughs> Don't make us cry. I won't. Um, I just want to thank all of you for all the friendship and support and leadership and all that you've done for the town. <clears throat> and for me, over the years, it's been an honor and a privilege to work with every single one of you even the one that didn't vote for me, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and that's, the, that's the beauty of town government, is it? We don't always have to agree. But I think we all come to work with the same goal in mind in trying to do what's best for the town of Poughkeepsie and best for the people that live here and trying to make the town a better place. Um, and I like to think that I've contributed to that over the years, and I hope that I've left the town better than when I, when I took office. And the... the, the thing that makes me feel really good about stepping out at this point is that we do have such a good town board. The town is in good hands. The town, the taxpayers, the residents, the families that live here, the people that, that pass through our town are, are in very good, competent hands. And the employees that work in town, in town hall and for the town are tremendous. And I've learned over the years that we have some really, really good people that are very dedicated to the job that they do. It's not just about the paycheck for the for the overwhelming majority, the people that work for our town. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm, my, I'm getting over a little bit of a cold and a stomach virus, but... Um, Stay over it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, like I said, I, I, I want to thank you all. Um, I appreciate your support tonight. Um, I'm looking forward to the, the new opportunity over in the court. Um, and I hope to, uh, to, to, to serve well and, and, and do the town proud. Um, and like I said, I, I, I just thank you very much for your service and your, for your friendship over the years. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Good luck. Congratulations. Anybody else? All right. Seeing no one, I make a motion to resume the rules. Second. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Jay. Be resolved, the Town Board of Tampa Kips is hereby adjourned in the executive session to consider the following matters to wit. One, confidential communications between the attorney and his client, the Town Board, based on attorney client privilege. Be it further resolved, there will be no action appropriate money, so moved. Second. Motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Town Board adjourns to executive session at 7.58 p.m.